Welcome to Modio Information Group's patented iPhone app. The app is intended to be highly intuitive, but we wanted to provide a quick overview to the extent it's helpful. To download the app, go to the App Store on your iPhone, type Modio Legal into the search option, and download the app for free. The first time you open the app, you will use your username and password to log on. Unless you affirmatively log out of the app, or change the device that you use to access the app, you will only need to use your username and password once. Otherwise, when you come back to the app, you will already be logged on. Once you are logged on, you will be directed to your home page. To check for any updated content corresponding to your primary publication, Tap the Modio logo in the upper left of the page. To play a file, simply tap the text of the title you would like to listen to, and it will start to play. Upon selecting a title, the audio page for the selected file will open, offering you a variety of options and features as well. First, using the controls at the bottom of the screen, you can pause a file. Use the forward and backward buttons to jump to the files immediately above or below the file playing. Or go 30 seconds forward or backward in the file currently playing by pressing the corresponding buttons. Using the progress bar towards the top of the screen, you can also navigate throughout the file. Below the progress bar to the left, the speed button allows you to adjust the speed of the player. And in the bottom right, there is a button you can press to go to the text version of the file currently playing. Lastly, but very importantly, you can use the Meet the Narrator feature to connect with a narrator who has narrated the file for you in hopes of gaining exposure to potential networking and employment opportunities. And, Using the Rate the Narrator feature, provide us with feedback on the narrator's performance. To collapse the full audio page, tap the Modio icon in the upper left. This will take you back to the home page listing your file titles. The file you selected previously will continue to play. However, using the red bar now appearing at the bottom of your screen, you can still pause the file. Navigate 30 seconds forward or backward. Or reopen the full audio page. You can also scroll through the rest of the list of file titles and select another file to listen to. Back on the home page, to the left of each file title, you will see a red dot, designating files that you have not yet listened to. Once you start to play a file, the red dot will disappear. To the right of each file title, you will see two icons. Using the star icon, you can pre-select files you would like to listen to and play them in sequence without requiring any further navigation. To pre-select files, simply tap the star icons corresponding to the files you would like to listen to, and they will change from unhighlighted to highlighted. Once you have starred all your desired files, Navigate to your playlist by tapping the playlist icon at the bottom of the screen. Tap the first file, and your pre-selected files will play in sequence. This feature is helpful during multitasking activities that span longer than the length of one file, such as commuting or going for a run. Note also that the playlist page tracks the number of files and how much time is in your playlist. If you know how long your multitasking activity will be, you can use this information to ensure that you deposit enough content in your playlist to span the length of your activity. Immediately below the star icon for each file, there is a gray arrow pointing down. Tap this icon to download the corresponding file to your phone. Once a file has been downloaded, you can listen to the file anywhere in the app, without an internet connection and without using your data plan. Note that the star feature discussed earlier can also be used without an internet connection to create a playlist of downloaded articles that can be accessed without internet. To view just the files you have downloaded, tap the download icon at the bottom right of your screen. 
In addition to manually downloading individual files, the app offers you the ability to automatically download the most recent issue of your publications when your phone is connected to Wi-Fi. To set this option, navigate to your user profile in the upper right, then tap My Account. Here, in addition to turning the auto-download feature on and off, to prevent the downloads from accumulating, you can set the downloads to automatically delete after a specified period time. Note that when you delete files from downloads, whether it be with the auto-delete feature or manually, the app only deletes the corresponding files from your downloads. You can still access these files via streaming or manually download them again in the future. Immediately above the My Account option in the User Profile page is the Listening Statistics option, which helps you to track how much more content you are consuming and how much time you are saving by virtue of the convenient audio format. Going back to the home screen, towards the top of the screen to the right of the publication title currently displaying, there is a red arrow pointing down. Tap this button to navigate to other publications on your account. To check for updated issues of these publications, from the top of the file list, swipe down and the app will check for any new issues of the selected publication. To navigate to prior issues of a given publication, tap the Archive button at the bottom of the screen. This page will initially list the dates corresponding to the prior issues of the publication you selected on the home screen. However, you can also navigate to other publications on this page in a similar manner as the home page. Once you select an issue, the app will display the corresponding list of files in a format and with all the same features as the home page. To navigate back to the main archive page, tap the black arrow in the upper left. Remember, wherever you are in the app, you can tap the Modio icon in the upper left and go to the most recent issue of your primary publication on your home screen. Thank you for listening. If you have any comments or feedback about the interface, please send us an email at accounts at We welcome any feedback you have.